Today we're going to do the first shots on the tour of 605 357 snub nose revolver here. And that's coming up next on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. What we're going to do is, is the first shots for you guys anyways on video. I've already shot this quite a few times. I just haven't had time to do a video on it. So that's what we're going to do today is. Basically what we got here is a Tour 605 snub nose revolver. Basically it has fixed machine sights, 2 inch barrel on it. Open it up here. It's clear. We got five shots here, a 38 special or 357, and it's a double single action. Enough talking about it. Let's go ahead and shoot it. Now the first rounds we're going to shoot here is just a 38 special semi wad cutter 158 grain that I casted up, powder coated and loaded myself. This is just like a general plinking round. So let's go ahead and try these out. All right, those are not too bad. All right, now I'm going to try the same rounds out in single action. Not bad at all. Single action is really nice. The double action on it, it's heavy like 12 pounds, but it's real nice and smooth, so it's not that bad. Now I only got three rounds of these left, so I might as well shoot them. Do these ones double action. Not bad at all. Now what I got here is a 125 grain plated berries bullet. Another plinking round. Just happened to have some berry bullets that came in that reloading haul that I had. So we're going to go ahead and shoot these double action first. Those weren't that bad at all either. Most of these 38 special loads I do, they're made just for like this, just having fun plinking. All right, 125 grain, berry bullets, single action. Ah, I missed my small plate, but still not too bad. Let's do one more round with the berries bullets. All right, one more time with these 125 greeners here. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna try to rip them off on the big silhouette target here. Double action. Perfect, gotta love it. This gun, for being as small as it is, is not that bad to shoot at all. All right, next 38 special we're gonna try here. This is gonna be a plus P round I made up. These are a soft jacketed hollow point, as you can see right there. And I got them loaded up to plus P pressures. This gun is 357 Magnum. So it should handle that with absolutely no issues at all. Double action, first shot. Man, you can feel a little bit more kick in those, but they shot perfect. All right, plus P round single action. And I'm going to move plate to plate on these. Now these would be more closely to what I have for a carry around here. What I carry is a Horner D uh, plus P1 uh, 10 grains in these. So these are kind of mimic that for me to practice with. That's why I made them. Let's go ahead and try one more round with the plus P's. All right, I'm just gonna do a dump on it with the plus P's here. Let's try this out. Perfectly fine and controllable with no issues. Gotta love that. All right, next here, we got some 357 Magnums with those Berries 125 grain bullets. Now these aren't loaded that hot. These are loaded with CFE pistol. So, I can tell you right now, if I had to chronograph out, those plus P's I just shot, 38 special, might be more than these. But, let's go ahead and try them out and see what they do. Double action. Ok, 
can't tell where they're shooting at at the small plate, but I could hit the big plate and the medium plate with no problem. Let's try more of those. All right, the lighter 357 loads here. We're gonna do these in single action. There we go, I got the small plate. Let's try that again. Perfect, no problem. All right, that should have been all of them. So let's move on, and I think I only got like four more of these left, so let's go ahead and shoot them. All right, the last four I got of these, I'm just going to rip them on the big silhouette. Man, for this being a small gun, it is very controllable. I got one more thing that we can shoot out of it, though. Now, I don't have very many of these left to shoot, so I'm only going to do two rounds of these. These are a factory federal 158 grain jacketed soft point here. These are factory rounds. Now I know these will probably kick a little bit harder than the last 357 I had. So first round we're gonna do double action and I'm gonna do it right on the big silhouette target like I'm shooting it at somebody. This will test the grip out on it. Okay, now I can tell the difference in the grip that everybody talks about. I'm going to go ahead, open this up here, get these cleared out. So now you can see it's clear. With those 357s, this ribbing back here, I see what everybody talks about now because it goes right across your hand here and digs in. With the plus P's and everything else I've used in this, Never had an issue with that. Let's go ahead and try them in single action. All right, now we're gonna try the factory 357s in single action. I can't tell where I'm going on the small plate. Big silhouette and small silhouette I can hit with no problem. And as I say that, I missed. That should have been it. All right. I got a couple more of those 357s left, so let's do a mixture. All right, this was the 125 green 38 special Barry's plated bullet. Then what we're going to do next is I got two of my plus P 125 green. These are the 38 specials with the uh, soft hollow point on them. We'll do two of those. And then we got two left of the factory 158 grain jacketed soft point 357s. And I'm going to shoot these in double action just to show you guys the difference in recoil. So here we go. Okay, that was first one was a regular 38 special. The next two were the plus P's. Now the 357. Alright guys, for the price of this gun, I don't think you can beat it. This is my new summer carry gun. Like I said, I've been carrying it with Hornady 1 uh, 10 grain 38 special plus P's in it. I love shooting it out here. People say they have a hard time hitting with snub nose revolvers. Here at this distance here, which is probably self-defense distance. I really have no issue with it until I put the 357 in, then the point of aim changed on it. I could hit my two silhouette targets, but I couldn't hit the plate target. But that's just me needing to learn the ammo and everything. But besides that, I think this is a great little gun. Only complaint I have with it is with 357, this back strap right here, that does dig into your hand some. But with all the 38 specials, it does not do that. And with the light 30, uh, 357 Magnums I shot, it didn't do it either. Just on those factory rounds is the only time I noticed that. So I kind of like that with the 38 Special Plus P's because I do like this grip. And believe it or not, even though I didn't do it in this video, I could love shooting this thing one-handed too. You know what? I still got some ammo over there. Let's shoot some of the Plus P's one-handed real quick. All right, now we got my 38 Special Plus P's here with the 125 grain jacketed soft point here. We're going to shoot these one-handed. I was going to finish the video out, but you know what? I got to show you guys the leaf shooting it one-handed, and I got the ammo for it. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, 
it's not that bad with the plus P's either to shoot it one handed. I really like this gun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first shots video here of the Tor 605. I tried to mix up the ammo in it a little bit just so you guys could see a difference in it. As for me, for the price of this, I say go get you one. This thing is a blast and it gives you the option of 38 special, 38 special plus P and 357 Magnum. And then if you reload like I do, you can go from mild to wild in 38 special or 357 with this thing. Well, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.